We're gonna hop right back into it. Here we go. Gotta find the shipping guild. Hey! Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. I need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? Yeah. No, my lady. Yeah. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. Wow. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? No. I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgan was so cold. Hutch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. How the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cool world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. Yeah. I wonder what darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. My standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! Wow. I can everyone that Alexis dips and plays. Everybody like like every character she plays like this is like literally. Like every time. Ah. 
นะลูกอะยักเฮ้ยเวลเวตนี่คือความจริงยักษ์ทัลนี้ถูกนิยมที่สุดในประเทศที่มีความสูงสุดของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังงานของพลังนักเรียนมาทำไมฉันเจอมันเ
what a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cans and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. Pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for flamestone, Halloween is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keel haul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I ask, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an extra system on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. The Abbey makes the rules. What are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Cool. Only one place to go.
through here and I can't go backwards so uh question mark You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helavis. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow, she must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the frozen queen of the exists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the white knight Helavis needs. Our town is as beautiful as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice-cold Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. Until I pull out the good stuff. Call that a fight.
Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. Oh, I see. That, that Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? I thought I would... Oh, whatever. Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. Is nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him. Everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no. I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know. I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh... You also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you. You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what princessias signify? The oh? I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. 
Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. I see a village. Let's go ask around. here but any further attacks and an exorcist was that dial she slew no it wasn't a lizard demon are you crying it's just everything that's going on demons run rampant in the outlands and yet the abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid it's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know, but it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town, who fled from Helaviz. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Bye. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Apple. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> hmm. This is actually rather good. Yummy. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Oh. Huh? She lost her taste. We learned food. what we need. Let's look for that cave. That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're handpicked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success. And fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Yeah. Just some common wisdom. Hello. This village seems much more run down than Helavis was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime. And you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh yeah, that exorcist Eleanor said something like that. 
After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us, included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. I'll take that. That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <laughs> that is nasty! That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Idiot. Good job. This way. Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke to you. Hey, hold really? up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Cool. I know her. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Ah, now that hit the spot. <laughs> hey, Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing, you can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full, either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm... sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's the kind of demon I am. He's cool. He's cool. I like him. He's awesome. Anyways. Uh, the...
See how we... for another half an hour and then I just call it a wrap or I'll just get through this right here and I'll call it a day. So, uh, let's go. Yay. Hey, I'll end this quickly. Sorry to catch you down. I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people yeah. say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. Yeah, I'm so strong, I just kick straight through it. But uh, when I kick somebody, it doesn't kick straight through it. Sure. Not 
So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. Oh. R. Yep. You know what they say, falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. I'm going to jump. Don't, Don't fall and crack your skull. You're like level 25. Oh, my God. 
But I was incapacitated. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? No wonder he wears purple You're awfully red peculiar, white. even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? Fire a monster demon. that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. Huh. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... Hack. Am I right? What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. But a hag is a harpy. So she probably shouldn't be a hag, but I don't have. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Onward and onward. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. Guess he connected to that sword somehow. I figure it had sentimental value. Hey, more often. More jumping. You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste. Hmm. You said you Therians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? Yeah, she was 16 before she got put in that hall. Uh, she's 19 now. I guess childhood days were great. 
But once you grow up and stuff, it's all different. It's all downhill from there. And all you can do is try to make it up here. That's the life growing up. Ain't nobody to depend on but yourself. It may be me. Cool. Four point. Uh, no. But I will quick save here. Quick save. Wait, the boss fight coming on. An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in. <laughs> It seems that way. Hold up! See this? You're in my way! Hold up! See this? You're in my way! See this? You won't get 
I won't die yet. Not until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me! They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? A raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This, I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess... even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But... why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Is this so really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy.
we're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helleves, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Killaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flame stone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm, Mount Killaraus. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, nope. and I'm not interested. Agree. Can you get close to a volcano or lava? Well, milk your hair, they paint facial hair off. And even melt your shirt or even plastic. By even looking at the lava flow. Lava could stay off forever, that'd be a bad thing, but it'd also be a good thing. This is Dial's tail. Did you... Did you really kill him? We found him dead in a lake of tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach, and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Yay. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? No. What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. Yeah. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on. Okay. I don't care. That mud. Doing ads. Don't you, don't you make me just, okay. You're making me, whatever. Bye. And that's how it's done. Get it? Yeah. I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. That's why I don't that Maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. Yep. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Yeah. If it'll help me take it down. Return to my shit. What a 
running around. It looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. They were nothing. Treasure up there. Get out of my butt. 
Hey, Vel, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who? Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. Ah. All that matters is that the demons I devour ah. make me stronger. Ah. Nothing more. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. Be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground yeah. here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Empyrean Inominat, hear my prayer. Yay. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Ah, splashing. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Yay. Okay. So our ship's getting fixed and we're gonna go to save for today, so uh... Yeah, I'll just call it right here. Saving. Save complete. Saving complete. Yay. So, catch everyone later and uh, hope y'all have a good morning, night, or day, whichever day y'all are watching. So, um, bye now. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye everyone who's watching.